Well, this is <laughs> <laughs> lots of digest there. <laughs>
It's a cookbook for everyone. You know, that's, 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 that's the point. Yeah, it's even, not just for like the bodybuilders. Is anyone trying to like even old ladies? Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is <laughs> <laughs> lots of digest there. <laughs> Sloppy Greg's are another one of my absolute favorite recipes in this cookbook. Like, I think I've got two dishes going. The vegan one. You've never even tried the meat one. Oh, yeah. He's vegetarian. Yeah, that's right. He did the vegan one, which is a good choice. Good choice, Will Tennyson. Um, but yeah, the toast was very burnt. Greg doesn't like his toasted at all for his sloppy Greg's. I usually don't even toast it. No, and you just I like do, plain. Just like yeah. 20 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I like mine toasted, but not... Not burnt toasted. And do I look like a guy that uses a knife? <laughs> oh yeah, I actually make it into like what a sloppy joe should look like. So I just put like two pieces of bread with the filling in the inside and actually pick it up and eat it. So they're not too sloppy. All right guys, so some time has elapsed and now I am trying to find a snack to make and it's actually quite overwhelming because I don't know what to do because this book is just so damn long. There's like 206 pages. So we have concluded that we are making the chocolate chip brownie cookies. So the last time I made a cookie from Greg's recipe, it was so dry going down my throat, I fell asleep spooning a bottle of Vaseline. But these ones look very, very chocolatey. Definitely way more moist than the first time I made cookies by Greg. They're moist, babe. Moist. Oh, stop. You're hurting my ears. <laughs> as soon as I watched and heard him say that, I was like, I can't. <sighs> oh, I still have the shivers. I'm getting goosebumps. I don't know if you guys can see, they are super rich and actually really moist. The second I didn't see oatmeal in the ingredient profile, I knew there was hope. I would say the texture is just slightly off. It's not like one of those like incredibly good cookies, but you know, it, it definitely satisfies that craving that you would want if you want a chocolate chip cookie. So overall, I wanna give this an eight and a half out of 10. That's what I think, but what about my mom and my sister? So what we're gonna do is a blind taste test with a Subway cookie and a cookie from a popular bakery, Felix and Norton. Okay, this is interesting. Babe, is there even a 1% chance it could be the Subway cookie? How much do you like Subway cookies? I eat some. I have eaten Subway cookies the last two days, yesterday and the day before. I can't even try a Subway cookie because they taste too good. I will stop eating it. That's why I eat these cookies. So comparing these two cookies, it's almost like there's no way my cookie could beat a Subway cookie. Yeah. Okay. So you know what? I I don't like the smell of it, and I think that this is gonna. I'm gonna give this a three. But I'm gonna have to guess that this one's Greg's. Um, I'm gonna give it a five. Um, I think also it is Dr. Greg's. This is a lot sweeter than the last one. Smells good. Not great. You're very picky with the smells. I know. So this one I'm gonna say is maybe about a six. Mm -hmm. A six. And I'm gonna say this is Subway. I'm gonna give this an eight. Eight? I think it's delicious. Um, and I think it's Felix and Norton. Oh shit, hey wait. Okay, so this has actually no smell. It doesn't even taste like anything. You're honestly like, you're not wrong. It's a one. One and it's Subway. I give it a three and it's Subway. Okay, so the first one was Greg's. So you actually both agree you think that the Greg's cookie was better than the Subway cookie. Yeah. Yes! And, that, and it's 110 calories more than Greg's. Okay, so you know what? Honestly then, if I was gonna just have a little treat, like a chocolatey treat, and it's only 100, then I might go with Greg's. If it smelled a little bit better, we could maybe add something. I didn't really think it smelled that bad. Yeah, you were like shook about that. Yeah. You smell it. It smells like damn brownie to me. No. 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 No, no. Okay. No. <laughs> I think it smells good. I don't know where that came from. But. I never have smelt it before. And I usually do smell things, but I don't remember smelling it and noticing it smelling not great. So I fully expected it to get third place because it's a healthy cookie with like half the calories. I mean, it didn't even have a chance. So to hear that it actually beat a Subway cookie. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. Even if they said it's almost as good as a Subway cookie, I'm gonna be honest, a Subway cookie to me tastes way better than this cookie, to me. 
Okay, but I mean, I like fattening, junky food, and I just try to make things 80% as good as the real thing, so to hear that it could be better, to some people, maybe not others, but to anyone, I'm impressed. Anyway, it's time to move on to some dinner, and we're about to piss off a whole bunch of old Italian ladies, because we are making the anabolic meat lasagna light. So there's two different lasagnas in this book. There's the light one, and then the regular one. Yeah. Probably the best thing I've actually had all day. So what would you give this one out of 10? Is it like a 10 out of 10 for a low calorie lasagna? And that's how you gotta think of it. It's definitely a 10 out of 10 considering it's healthy. Like it's gonna be good even if you're not on a diet. Exactly. Like if I go to a restaurant and order the most fattiest lasagna ever, it's gonna be better than this. I would give, if that one's a 10, this is an eight. Like it's 80% as good as the absolute best thing in the world, but it's got half the calories, I mean. Yeah, you you can't go wrong. It's not a 10 out of 10 based on known as lasagna, but it's 10 out of 10 based on being a low cal alternative. Yeah, and so if you're a person that's not actually di into dieting, you're still gonna like these yeah. foods. That's the key. Like, she's not a diet person. No, so like she's not gonna like eat it if it's not actually good. No, that's right. So all of these 10 out of 10s. Yeah. <laughs> I would still eat it even if it wasn't good. I would because I'm a diet person. It's better than chicken, broccoli, and rice. But like in the real world, I know what real people are going to eat. And I always taste test these things with people who aren't dieters. I'm like, eat this. And they're like, oh, it's pretty good. And I'm like, it's actually That's good. healthy. Yeah. Eat this. It's And then it's vegan. And it's like, oh, I, I would eat that. And they're meat eaters. And it's like, if it's still good enough for them, you know it's good. Yeah. But now it's time to move on to some dessert. So I made the chocolates peanut butter pumpkin cake. And the ingredient profile of that cake, I didn't really associate with cake, but again, I'll be open-minded. And there is chickpeas in here, like full-on chickpeas. It didn't even say to blend the batter, which I think it probably should have said to blend it, but it didn't, so I just rolled with it. And yeah, we are gonna try it out. And I'm actually surprised today. We made it the whole entire day without xanthan gum. So maybe I have been using the pirated version all along. After making this, Will literally wrote me, he's like, there's chickpeas and it didn't say to blend it. I'm like, oh, it should have said to blend it. And so we actually made an update to the book. And so thanks for Will for noticing the error, which it should have said to blend it up because we didn't want it to have, you know, pieces Whole like that. Whole chickpeas I mean, it's still, it. like, it'd still be all right, but it's gonna be better blended and make it all smoother and creamier and throughout and yeah. So we'll notice that. And in fact, we do get people who write us in and they give us tips and say, hey, how I made this and the directions could have been worded a bit different because I didn't know what to do at this point. You I'm okay? like, oh, good point. So we do listen good. to you and we do make updates on book one and book two when needed, okay? So don't think that this is just done, one and done. If there's changes that need to be made, we're gonna give them, okay? So be sure to like look at your emails and see the updated versions because you might notice the recipe name got switched and it's a better one and maybe you'll even have an extra recipe here and there, you never know. So don't avoid the messages, yeah. the emails. Yeah, check your junk message. What is it in the junk folder? How do Some, you get that? I think sometimes it's in the junk folder. I don't understand technology. Just it's check just like, for updates, check your junk folder, read the updates. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> and my favorite thing about a cake is the icing wall at the back. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna approach it by its rear. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. <laughs> I really wanna get like a chickpea. Pocket. It's not every day you have a cake <laughs> and get hit with a hummus pocket. That is strange, man. It tastes like it would be a dog cake, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Like, you know, like you have a dog cake that's like not so sweet, but like it's like, it's still humanized food. Honestly, I think it tastes really good. You like it? Why are these people eating dog cakes? Is that a thing? Do you eat dog cakes? You have a pet store. I have eaten, a taste tested a couple of dog cookies that it, they have human ingredients. So is it a good thing? Do dog cakes take? Yeah, like, like the na taste good? Yeah, like the natural cakes and treats that look like humans could eat them that are made for dogs literally are exactly what they're saying. It's like not sweet enough, but it's still 
edible. So we have to make another cookbook, a doggy cookbook. No, I'm gonna make and that add cookbook. Add this to it. We're gonna put this recipe. <laughs> no, in No, but I understand with the, with the unblent chickpeas. Unblended chickpeas. It, and it's a dog cake, but it's like, yeah, your dog cake pretty good. And I'm like thinking that doesn't sound like a good thing. Yeah, it's but just I guess it it's is. just not as sweet as what you would expect a human cake to be because they obviously don't put sugar in oh. dog related treats and okay. cakes. Okay. So that's all they mean. It's just lacking the okay. like hit of sweetness. Okay. It does taste like a dog cake. I know what you mean. It's like a cake with Cause there's like a slight savoriness to it. But I will say though, like Greg has definitely stepped up his game in this cookbook compared to the last one. Yeah. And I feel like if I did the 10K again, it'd be a hundred times more enjoyable. So Greg, if you want to do a 10K again and lose by a couple hours, let me know. Yeah, like maybe I'll just stick to my wine. Look, she's sticking to her wine. Sticking that to reminds her wine. me of you. Sounds That's like, like me. me and Allie having a, a food off. Next time you get together, the girls can drink the wine. You guys can make your recipes. We can do the ten thousand calories. Yeah, and we'll just we'll eat it. And you guys and you girls will drink wine. Yeah, we'll drink wine and eat pizza, pickle pizza. I wonder if she likes pickle pizza. I wonder. Do you like pickle pizza? Allie likes pickle pizza. <laughs> We've actually got videos of her doing pickle pizzas and stuff. It's just not edited just yet. Just not edited yet. But, but it's, it's, Hopefully it's, soon. it's happened though. It's been busy around here. We've been busy. All right, so I forgot to rate the cake, the good old chickpea cake. I'm gonna give it a, a four out of 10. It wasn't great, it wasn't terrible. If I had to solely live off of it for an entire week, I could, but if I didn't have to, I wouldn't be running for a second slice, you know what I mean? So overall, it was a solid day of eating. I enjoyed pretty much everything I ate the entire day. He definitely stepped it up. This book, to the last book, like I said. So I think I'm starting to understand why people stare at my chest because as I'm watching Will, all I can stare at is this bicep <laughs> veins and the little side one. Did you notice that or is that just me? No, I was looking at the the picture behind him trying to figure out which animal all that I was. All I can see is Will's bicep vein and all she sees is the, the picture animal in the picture background. Behind. <laughs> all the guys think they want muscles because then they, you know, they'll get the girls. and it, It's the guys who are checking you out, not the girls. So you don't build muscles to get girls am i right oh yeah i was looking at the the behind him like you the know walls how you get and girls? the lights <laughs> you get pets <laughs> yeah. is this true it's true what's more important or what more impressive yeah animals? a man with some animals like say a girt and a baby naked and like a little yeah you know, some dogs as long as and cats and, and yeah men who, or big biceps men who love their animals and treat their animals well like go, taking them for walks getting them cookies or cake. Or cakes. So guys, some tips for you. If you're trying to impress the girls and you know you're into that, animals, be animal lovers. Don't be like, I need to have big arms and, and take something to grow them. Overall, I wanna give this book, you know, from all my scores today, I wanna give it a nine out of 10. So great job, Greg, you actually killed it with this book. I'm, I'm very impressed. A lot of the recipes are super, super good. Highly recommend you guys check the book out. So that is gonna wrap up this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new and join the family. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, so we're ending it here. Puri Puri Prisoner. And Ali Smith. And you can follow her on All About Ali. And you can see me in the next adventure roles on any if anything anime. Anime. <laughs> I'm gonna be there, you know. I'm, My goodness. I'm a, a S class superhero. This will be interesting. Yeah. Okay. Check out one of those videos. Either one. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, oh, yeah. buy my freaking cookbook and my training book. And until next time, we are out. Oh, mine didn't work. Do it again. <laughs> okay, wait. I gotta wet my lips. Ready? That's what she said.